I'm sure that music was a blast from the past for some of you. Now, I know what the first thing some of you are going to say that yes, it doesn't exactly look like the Archangel, but okay, look, blame Starfield's like very simplistic building system. When I heard that Starfield had shipbuilding, I really hoped that I'd be able to make the Archangel from Gundam Seed because it's one of my favorite animes. So I went ahead and built an initial design anyway. Okay, this looks a lot bigger than I expected. That's what she said. So aside from Starfield's like very simplistic design, I'm disclaimering here that yeah, it's my first initial build. It doesn't exactly look like the Archangel. No mods, it's a class A build. So it's something for you guys to use early to mid game. It's an initial design. I've maxed out the ship engineering skill. So I have most parts available in the game, but I think there's a couple things that are locked behind quests. I'm not entirely sure I haven't finished the game. Additionally, there are some parts of the Archangel that are fairly rounded. And this game's, again, shipbuilding is so simplistic, it really doesn't allow anything resembling even minute adjustments, honestly, or like rearranging of the sword. It's kind of annoying. Heck, there are even some good parts that actually would make for the good wings of the Archangel, but I can't even freely rotate in this game. So that didn't really work. Again, so if there are later on mods that come out that allow us to like be a little bit more complex in our shipbuilding, or if I can develop some sort of like overlays for this, I will, and I'll let you guys know, and I'll put it in a follow-up build. It's definitely something that I really want to do. I love the Archangel. It's a cool first design anyway. I would really love to round off some parts to just clean up this model. So with that being said, this is a great early mid-game ship. It's got great cargo space, a lot to carry, decent like guns and weapons, and you can enhance it from class A to B and C. That'll give you better weapons and better space and a little bit more mobility. Particularly the weapon system in a second build, I will do like I'll upgrade to class B and C so that I can have a better weapon system that kind of fit the anime Archangel a little bit better. And then finally as well, this also has space for whatever compartments you guys want inside your ship. The next part of this video, I'll show a breakdown of the pieces from where I got them from and how to build it. And then the last part of this video will really be like a tour of the inside of the ship. Okay, so this is kind of the breakdown layer by layer of the Archangel Class A. I kind of want to remind you guys that it is Class A, meaning that like our reactor and our grav drive as a result and all the weapon systems are a little bit lower tier, right? So when I do the update for Class C... Class B and C later on, I'll be able to include more functional weapons, maybe even like some more extra structural stuff because we'll have better boosters that we can then carry more weight. But right now, for now, you know, this is Class A. This is something for you guys to start with at the initial point. If you just want to like keep working through the story, keep working through your skill points, but also have have a little fun with shipbuilding and have a cool ship from, from an anime. So let's start from the bottom here. I'll go through each of the layers and then we'll talk about the sides as well. Okay, so starting with the bottom here, let's start with the landing bay. We picked a small size, the tail landing bay. I think you should be able to buy this from any vendor that doesn't really have a problem or an outpost. It would be easiest to build your ship from the outpost and then go to the starships that you need to go to for the specific parts. There's not a lot of specific parts anyway, so you don't need to go to too many shipyards. But yeah, so we started with the tail landing bay. Technically speaking, the Archangel actually has the landing bay out to the left. It like points out to the left. Um, that's how they usually exit the ship. They don't really have a walkout landing bay like this. The actual Gundam landing bays are actually on the, the legs, as most of you know. But for the purposes of this ship and also keeping the landing bay with Starfield's recommendation of having it, or not even recommendations, a need to be on the same level as the landing gear, we put it right in the middle, right below it. It's actually, it will be hidden below the decks on the top here. So it doesn't like interfere with anything and it just makes for an easy way to get in and out of the ship. Moving on here, we go to the back, the next part. Just a companion way, just something to tie together. You need to have the landing bay connect all the way to the cockpit. They have to be connected by some sort of path. So we have to connect this right here. And this will be our staircase to go up to the next area. Moving on to the next two compartments here. These are landing gear. Now landing gear for Starfield particularly, you need to have a certain amount of landing gear per, I guess, weight or maybe even like size of the ship. I tried to stuff these in at the back. I didn't want them to interfere. I didn't want to put them on the legs or anything. So we stuffed them at the back. These are the Acculanders. The Acculander 11. These are from Stroud Eklund. So if you don't see them at an outpost, you might not be able to see them at like a simple station like on New Atlantis. But an outpost, you should be able to see them. If you don't though, the star, the Stroud Eklund is on Narian, I believe. They're in the Narian solar system. You should be able to find them there. So the Acculanders, these two are very helpful. They are very narrow. And they just keep the ship, but we don't have anything on the sides, nothing protruding as much on the sides because of these landers. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Goes down here. 
This is the Slim Docker. This is an important part of the. This really makes or breaks this build right now because it was such a pain to introduce a Docker, like an actual full like case set Docker. So the Slim Docker, very helpful here. Now this you only need to get from the Deimos Star Yard. So that's located in the Sol Solar System. It'll be a space station near Mars. Well, so now this unit here, this little companion way, becomes the gateway to like either your your connections from the Dockers or just your walkout landing bay. So. Both of these, this is your entrances to the ship. These are the two landing bays right here. Go up a little bit here now. On the side, I have put panels. Now these you can also get from any uh, any outpost or like a couple of star station, the uh, technical technicians and stuff. Side caps from Teo, Teo Engineering. Very nice side caps. I put the little red design here. Now technically there's no red design on the Archangel here, but because we don't have the archway, there's supposed to be a big archway that connects to these boosters here. But because we don't have that archway, th that archway is supposed to be red. So instead, I just made it so that I have the red red line on both sides of just like a nice little nice little touch of the Archangel. It's a very bright red. Uh, the color here, I've done it for, for all the parts here. Just full on red. Just fully bright. If you want to change them, go absolutely go bonkers. Okay, looking at the back here. Now we do have extra landing gear. The pinpoint landing gear from Teo as well. Very clean. They're not very bulky. That's why I chose them. But I think the biggest reason I chose them is because of this. They have the booster here. They have a little like booster looking thing, which is really nice. Boosters on both sides. And then we have the uh, White Dwarf 3000 engine. Now, this can be upgraded as well. For just purposes here, I just put like a small version because again, this is class A. You're going to upgrade eventually. You don't need to spend too, too much money to get like the highest tier uh, engine. I don't even like what's the highest tier engine for the White Dwarf anyway. If I move this over. Uh engines white dwarf goes up to 350 so yeah if you want to put the 315 by all means go ahead it will cost you a little bit more um but it's not a big deal right gives you a little bit more engine power which is kind of nice it's only three it's not four like the actual archangel but the archangel's design is that it has four boosters and it's got two bigger boosters on the left and right side these are supposed to be on the archway that usually has on the arch or the archangel but unfortunately, again, Starfield doesn't really have anything that resembles an arcing kind of like system. So we got to kind of work with that. But I was at least happy that, you know, there's some sort of arc ish pattern here. The last thing for this first layer, technically, it's actually moving on to the second layer because it's one level up. But just put the, the shield generator for now. I put it down here. You can put it really wherever you like, wherever you want to put it. Um, but this is just a good marker indicator lets you know where to build next. But yeah, right here, just before the booster. You can even put on the booster if you like, but 40S protector shield from Dogstar. That was good enough for me. I've enjoyed it. It's been pretty good for any mon or any enemies that are my level and whatnot. Okay, moving on to the second layer. The second layer is not too complicated. This is kind of like our technical level, I guess. We start off here with a helium tank. Let's position this a little bit here. The helium tank, I put the 500T helium tank. Pretty standard. It was. It is an upgrade. I think the, the original one is just the two balls. Now you have four balls. But I like to be able to just drive jump to wherever I want to go. And it's just kind of prepping me for, for the next level when I upgrade the ship. The middle section is where you can change it up. Now I put a tail control station. This does not need to be used by you guys. You know, this is a habitat. This is whatever habitat that you want. If you want to put a workshop here, if you want to put living quarters, you know, whatever you want, living quarters, whatever. Also keep in mind that it's going to be covered up. So I've put, I've colored it red. You don't have to, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to put, do whatever you want. But it also is a way to start connecting the path to the cockpit, right? We need to connect the landing bay to the cockpit. So keep that in mind. The more important parts are the left and right side. Again, class A, keep that in mind. Not a very like big stuff. I didn't really upgrade a lot. The R3000 Alpha Grav, Grav Drive. And then uh, that's on the right side. Or I guess, depends which way you look at it. This is the front of the ship looking forward. So on the right side of the ship, I have the Alpha Grav. Doesn't really matter, actually. And then the reactor is on the left. You can flip flop whichever reactor and grab drive. This is on the technical level, stage two. And then on the outside, we have the Deimos Wings E. Deimos Wings E on both sides. And they are where we attach the first set of weapons. I did also color these blue. This is a full bright blue. Just something as well. I think it's technically supposed to be a little bit lighter, like maybe a tad bit lighter here. There. 
yeah i think that's that's more of it let's brighten it up with the full saturation but it's a little bit lighter there we go okay so like nice blue so these are the valiants they're supposed to be the valiants the the big you know like yellow lasers that the archangel shoots for now we have put down the auto electron beam pvo 30 Again, with class B and C, I'll be able to upgrade them to be something a little bit more similar or more matching of the anime style. But for now, again, for the early ship class A, very nice beam. It actually does a lot of damage with two of them as well. You get some great damage with this gun. The last things as well for this level, there's the Teo side caps as well. Again, same side caps. This one had the red bar that I put. This one I just made all white. Now, the good thing about this one is that like later on, if you want to upgrade this ship while you are, you know, while it might not match the um, Archangel entirely, you can replace this and put whatever you want here, particularly like cargo or something. You know, cargo, um, nice little extra cargo if you want to say this. This ship already, I've already designed it that you guys have a lot of space, right? So you'll have a lot of space already as it is. 1600 capacity. That's great. That is honestly like a really good starting amount to... You really don't need to like have more than that until you upgrade your ship and do more things but just in case you want to there's a flexibility that this tail side cap is just there for aesthetic purposes you can change it if you like so that is layer two very quick very small just the technical level okay and that's how it fits so again because we put the shield generator down there this is kind of like your landmark everything this goes in front of it right there yeah it fits nice and neat behind it so keep in mind right now, we've got landing bay and then your docker comes up here. You have one intro ladder getting you to the first level here. And then you move over to the right and there'll be a second ladder that goes all the way up to the cockpit. But let's take a look at floor three. This is more of the workshop lab, uh, workshop layer. Starting with the companion way, I put shroud. Again, whatever you want to put in here, this one doesn't matter. I put shroud and I colored it red. I just like shroud on the inside. It looks really nice to me on the inside. But again, whatever fits your, your taste and layout. I started with the Stroud companion way, just a one-way companion way. This is your ladder going up on both sides of it, front and back, two habitats. Okay. The back one doesn't entirely matter as much. I put a science lab. That was just for my purposes. The only main thing that you really need to focus on here is the back, the color. Putting it gray if you want to match the Archangel. The Archangel does have a protruding part in its back. That is particularly gray. It doesn't technically have a window, the porthole, but the Archangel does have like a viewing gallery behind the cockpit. Actually, we can't put that into this ship because the bridge is a sole piece. So I just put the portholes on the back of the rooms here just so you can look out the back window, you know, enjoy the stars moving forward, connecting to the companion way. So again, actually, sorry, just to clarify as well, this is a science lab top A. I did put a top side. So it kind of like curves a little bit. It's just kind of nice to look at. A nice little curve here because of the top rounded part. But you can't connect anything to the sides. If I want to eventually connect something or you want to put something there, you'll have to change this part to just a regular mid con connector. From the middle connector that we actually had to have, the Stroud Companion, I put two cow cowls, the Nova cowling. Two of them just on both sides. A little bit of red on the color three. The other colors are... Oh, actually, color two is red as well. Oh, that was the backside as well. Yeah, yeah. The color one is white. The main color is still white. Color two, color three are red. Just a little bit of aesthetic looks, to be honest. We don't really have a connector to the wings, so to say, of the Archangel. Unfortunately, again, Starfield doesn't have a lot of, like... Doesn't have a lot of maneuverability, especially for structural pieces. I really wish and I hope that this game will do an update where you can rotate structural pieces like i understand parts like this connecting together where you're actually going to walk through the ship you know that makes sense that it should be in blocks connected together it's just easier to program that way and set up the layers layouts on the inside but structural pieces that you can only see on the outside i think you should be able to rotate them would have been nice the next part this is a little bit more important i put a hope tech workshop here now does, workshop isn't important but it's the hope tech the only reason I put the hope tech is because this gray part in the front, this first part here, this is going to be visible. If you look at the Archangel, there is like a gray sort of top right in the middle. That's what this kind of represents. I, I let this represent right there. Nice little gray spot that like fits right in between the start of the two big legs of the Archangel. Very nice rounded piece. The gray color fit really perfectly for the colors here. 
Color one is the gray. Straight on white saturation and then color right down the middle. Brightness level. Right down the middle of gray. That's it. Everything else is white. White for color two, white for color three, both saturation and brightness. Or saturation all the way down, brightness all the way up. That gets you that nice little light gray color and it fit really perfectly. On the back half, just again, this will match up with the last part that we looked at before. Over here, these uh, side caps. Same sort of thing, it matches up on the second piece here, back half of this uh, second habitat. Just two more side caps on both sides, left and right side. They'll just match up with that. Again, it can be used for your customization later. The last part of this sort of workshop layer is the Teo cowling. I needed something in the front that kind of just like rounded out the ship. There's not a lot of, I guess, like forefront cowlings that, that were really round, like a, a good round. Again, color wise was white for most of these, but gray on color two, just kind of the connector here. That was really it. Honestly, this can even get a little bit lighter. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, that fits into the workshop area. And again, your ladder, as a reminder, is going to be right here with the stout companion. So we're going to lower all of this now. And that should match up with the the back half of the first habitat that you have right, uh, right in front of the uh, shield generator. Okay, so that's three layers right there. Just to point out a little bit here. Technically speaking, the Archangel on the back has like a sort of a... It has that arch. Usually it has that arch that will hold the boosters and all. And it's got a space. And then it's got the layers where the habitats are. So, since we don't have an arch, you know, I've just kind of created that space. Like, kind of artificially a little bit. That there's a space here. A little shield generator in the middle. And the boosters are all at the back here with the landing gear. Looking at the next layer. Now, this is the wings layer just before the top and we can even kind of include the top in here the top is just the over let's start with that actually the top is the overseer 300 bridge now this is from hope tech you'll need to visit the hope tech station if you guys don't know where that is it is in the valo system velo system velo system and you'll find it on the pal alvo the pavel planet yeah yeah pavel planet that's where the hope town or the hope tech kind of like manufacturing site is so you'll need to go down there and then talk to a technician there which will then let you by the overseer bridge i would start with this at least get this pretty early on in your build you know the rest of the parts you can you can build and change later but the bridge is the important part so that you can have the connector kind of like working if it doesn't work if you don't want to go to hope tech right away to get it you can always just replace this part here you can put a bridge there and then you can leave this for the very end go to the palvo planet later on at the very end and then attach the bridge just change the bridge from front to, to the top so, for the rest of this layer as well, let's take a look here. So this is a cowling from Nova Galactic. Very common one. You can get it from any, like, technician or, like, your outpost. Very simple one. Just a little bit of a bend here. That's I was looking for something that has, like, an arch kind of a thing. That's basically what the Archangel has from the bridge. It's actually more steep than this on the Archangel. It would, it would curve like that kind of a thing. But there was no part like that. So we got to do make do with what we got. This is a habitat quarter right below the bridge. Again, you guys can put whatever habitat you like. We also have port windows. I have porthole windows on both sides. So it's just the captain's quarters just to make it a little bit nice. Again, technically speaking, the Archangel doesn't have these ones, but I want to be able to look out my window and, and enjoy the view. The Archangel does have the dock or the uh, viewing dock at the back of the bridge. But again, we can't put anything there, unfortunately. So the next best thing was in the captain's quarters, the porthole right there. A lot of windows in this area. Just being able to see everything from the top, it's a really nice view. The last couple things. These are Deimos parts. So again, you'll need to be at an outpost or you can even go to the Deimos yard if you want. These are just bracer A's. Bracer A's from Deimos on both sides. These are the extensions to the wings. Again, there's usually only one extension on the Archangel. Technically speaking, from the archway below and then one extender. So right now, these are our extenders from the top. They're supposed to extend from the layer below, technically speaking. But it didn't match up. That was my issue. It, it's supposed to be from there, but it wasn't really matching up with then the guns over here. So we put it on the top layer. And then these are also Deimos Wing A. Both sides. The weapon systems for this. This is supposed to be the, it's the Wombat missiles. Yes. It's supposed to be the Wombat Missile. They actually, on the Archangel, come out from the side here. 
And I'm kind of annoyed that I can't put it right here. Like this, this is a spot like this. This looks like a good spot that I could just attach a gun. Again, the flexibility that we have in Starfield, not enough. It, there definitely needs to be more flexibility with these parts. All right, so that's it for the top two layers here. Let's go ahead and attach them. And again, keep in mind when you're attaching them, wherever the bridge is, that needs to connect down to the, the companion way that we had. So the front part of this living quarter and then the bridge itself. That's going to come down and sits right on top. Beautiful. That is sort of the mid portion of the Archangel. And it fits nice and snug there. Technically speaking, if you really wanted to, like you can take this off and you can put the wings down there. No harm in it. I just thought it looked a little bit better when it's on this level here. The Archangel for the for the ship specifically, it is supposed these are supposed to be relatively high. They're supposed to be one level below the bridge. They are supposed to be a little bit above this habitat layer, but they're not supposed to be too close to um, this weapon system right here. Right, there's supposed to be at least one one system or like a little gap between these wings, the blue, the blue outer wings at the very back, and this gun system. Technically speaking, again for the Archangel, these should be aligned back here, but it doesn't really work out because I can't attach anything here because of this landing gear. This is where like some of the leeway and the, the issues kind of happen. I'm sure there's a mod out there, but again, this is a modless build. Later on, I'm sure I can find a mod that can kind of remove some of the restrictions that come with building and i'll let you guys know if i put that together in the next build uh build video for this i'll let you guys know of which mod i'm using specifically and how to use it that's what it looks like right now the structures let's go on and move on to the legs let's take a look at these legs all right as you can tell they're not exactly smooth this is the smoothest i could get for something that's slanted uh in starfield shipbuilding creation it's kind of annoying like i wish that like i could move this around or i could adjust it so that like you know the tip of this edge was at least lined up with this edge right here it would be so helpful if this could align with that um if when you are building this start with this piece here the hope tech storeroom this attaches to the uh, hope tech building right here whatever the workshop is or whatever you're using the habitat that'll attach right there these two attach together even like throw that on right there I use the Hope Tech one particularly because it's just rounded. So nice round, just kind of like looks nice on the edge of the ship. Just fit really, it just fit really well. The next thing as well is um, right next to it on the side, I put these, the Nova Thruster Arrays. So technically speaking, on the Archangel, there is kind of like vents. There's like vents to help them like turn a little bit. That's what these are. That's why I put them there. You can also throw these on up top here if you don't want the portholes. Because I think uh, the Archangel does have them up here as well. After that, I put on another Hope Tech cap. That goes right on top. Just kind of like another a gray area. And it'll let us attach the lasers on top. But the, I just want something with like a little gray box. That's kind of how it is on the Archangel. There's a nice little gray spot on it. Surrounded by white. So we were able to do that with the cap A4 from Hope Tech. This one again, I think both of these parts should be available from anywhere. Like any outpost that you work at next up next up for the legs we'll talk about the lasers in a second this is kind of the the bread and butter here the big part the bread and butter the deimos cowling four grips again you can buy this from anywhere this is the bread and butter the reason this helped us work out oops a little bit wacky here it lets you attach something at the bottom right here very nice nice little piece so you can attach something so it let me do this sort of like up and down like stairwell kind of thing to eventually create this slant that comes up so you'll have three of these parts in between this is a hard cargo hold now we have a cargo hold on both legs i thought this was a great place to just put the cargo hold it gives us a lot of space and it's on both sides so it's kind of like uh very symmetrical but it just doubles your cargo load as well this is the sextant uh hauler cargo hold 10t for now, I just kind of use that just to balance out the weight and mass of the, the entire ship because it's already a big ship with a lot of extra parts that isn't really unnecessary. <laughs> it's a lot of unnecessary parts of the ship, but we put this cargo hold on both sides, on both legs. This you can only buy, I believe, at the Deimos Starfield. So you, again, you have to go back to the uh, to Mars and you'll need to go to the Deimos shop 
to attach these cargo holds. After that, again, put another Deimos cowling in the front, and then at the bottom, another white dwarf engine. So the Archangel actually does have another set of four smaller boosters, four smaller boosters, but it's on the leg as well. Both legs have this, this booster. So again, I colored it red. I colored the bottom two red here and the top three white. That looks anyway, you've got white. You have gray all the way down the middle. Unfortunately, again, the customization for this is just not great, right? It's just not great. If I could have my way to like paint these specifically, I would paint this whole centerpiece gray. That's that's how I would do it, you know? And then you could have the white on the sides here and then red on the, the bottom layers. But unfortunately, you can't if you change the colors. So this is white again, right? The whole thing changes and it's just a little too much. If you want to change the colors, go ahead. I kept it white and then I kept the same middle gray for parts two and three. The last thing you need to keep in mind, though, is the bottom one. The bottom part of the Archangel is a little bit darker gray. So let's change the, the colors, colors two and three to a little bit darker, a little bit more on the left there. But that's about it for the legs. I kept the bottom red because the bottom of the Archangel, when you look from the bottom view, it is all red going up those legs. So that works out. And that's it for the legs. This can attach straight on to your Hope Tech storeroom. And that makes for a wonderful leg. And so we can do that for both parts. The cargo hold is nice. It's definitely more than enough space for you guys for early game. It, it definitely is... Wait, wait, it's like a 1,600 or something like that. The last parts, the wings. One of the parts I was also disappointed with Starfield, you know? It's a star, like a spaceship game, and they have no parts that look like wings. Like general, just regular shaped wings. I was very annoyed with this. You work with the Shroud Engine Bracers A. Shroud Eklund, two pieces. They fit right together. One of the only pieces that are like fit enough that actually fit there. And then you have a Deimos bumper that actually fits really nicely. Uh, for the Shroud engines as well, I did change the colors. Color one or color two. Sorry, Color two is red. So that's the front end. So at least you're able to keep that in tune with the Archangel. It's got a bit of red and then a white wing. This white. Yes, this is actually white. I'm, I'm not. It, it looks burnt out. It looks like gray, but it's not. It's actually white. Color one and color three are white. Okay, and those wings now attach to this. They attach to the landing bay. It actually fits in the Archangel as well. If you look at the Archangel, there is a separate part at the very bottom that's very close to like the centerpiece, very close to like this centerpiece here, um, right below it is a part that the wings attach to and they extend from that. So that's where they attach to. Kind of like fits the design that the wings start off from right under the, the legs of the Archangel. The last, oh, I forgot to mention the weapons, did I? But these weapons on the top, these are the lasers. These have to be lasers. They're supposed to be the Gautafreeds. Um, they're supposed to be the double green laser. So as we level up to class B and C, um, hopefully I'll be able to find lasers that can fit this. Like the double laser two cannons on top. I really want that. I think that'll match the aesthetic of the, the Archangel very nicely. This one already fits here. This really fits the, this laser as well. It already fits the aesthetic of the Valiance. I really like that. And then obviously we already have the Wombat Missiles, which is really nice. And with that, your Archangel Class A initial build with no mods should be ready to go. Okay, so that is the, the outside of the ship, but how to structurally build it. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm just going to give you guys a walkthrough of the inside, just so you guys can see what it's like. You know, if you, if you want to see the inside before you build it, it is a little bit of a pain because of the, the ladders here. Yeah, so when you come inside, the landing bay is over there. This is also the docker here. So all your entrances is just you straight come up to this area. Then you can go straight up. And you go into the control center. Yeah, this is my control room. Control room down at the bottom. Nice little storage box. Um, and then you can go up. And from here, it's all the way up to the top. All the way up. So there's just one staircase in the middle of the, the entire ship. Very nice. Very nice. The two offices, so whatever your habitats are that you want in here, I put the science lab in here on this side. We got the porthole looking out to the back. And then on the front side, uh, there is my adoring fan. This is the uh, workshop. This is the one hope tech piece. So it's like the darker colors on the inside, the dark walls. Really organized though. I actually do like this workshop piece. 
And then the tour storeroom's on the side. Both sides have the storeroom. Again, if you wanted to put the windows, you'd be able to look out then. You'd be able to look out and see the wings. Uh, but again, I kept a little bit more accurate to the Archangel design. Go to one more level. This is the habitat layer. There we go. So this has my portholes and I can see the wings from here. I can see my, my laser guns and I can see the missile launchers from there. As long as the side wings as well. This is the captain's quarter. Just on this nice little level. So it'll be very easy if you ever just want to like dock and sleep quickly right below you. And then the back window, the back portal. So this is supposed to be like the viewing gallery of the Archangel. You'll be able to see um, all throughout. And we also, I thought I had a window up here. Oh yes, I did. There it is. Okay. And then we take the stairs up the last part, the cockpit. So this is kind of similar to the Archangel. You know, the Archangel has this sort of like multi-window view all around. Very nice. Obviously, the Archangel's cockpit is a lot bigger to fit six or seven people because they're a bigger crew. But this is still very nice be able to see out and about. The good thing is whenever you enter the ship, you'll be able to teleport right to the car, the cockpit. But there is a secret here. Now, this might be a glitch for me. I don't think it's going to happen for you guys, but you see that right there? It's like a little layer that fits right there. I glitched the ship somehow. I'm not entirely sure. So I end up back at the cockpit whenever I do this. And I've already flown it multiple times. So it's kind of nice for me. Like, I come up here, I can go right here, and I can get straight to the cockpit if I really wanted to, and then get my cargo hold. So, I'm not sure entirely how I did that. I wish I could tell you guys. I'll do a follow-up video or pin a comment or something if I figure out how I did that. I have absolutely no idea. It just sort of happened with this build when I put these exact pieces together, so maybe if you guys put these exact pieces together, you'll get the shortcut. <laughs> it's really weird. I don't know. Anyway, that's how you build the Archangel Class A ship. Hope this helped you guys out. Please leave a like if you did. And be sure to subscribe for my next video when I do an update to this build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.